evening, after a long day of therapy, I took a shower and I was ready for bed. Then I heard a knock at the door. It was my cousin, Fasario. I can vaguely remember what we talked about, but I do remember asking him to bring me my cell phone. He agreed, but I was a little apprehensive. You see, I had not seen a cell or used a cell for two months. So to say the least, I was a bit uneasy. So when I received the phone in my hand, I just began staring at it. Just staring at it. The gaze went on for what seemed to be an hours. But in reality, it was only for a few minutes. A minute to say the most. During the time I was trying to figure out how in the world do I turn a phone on, I said, Oh my God, I can't. Oh. <laughs> so I felt as though I was in Twilight Zone. Do you remember Twilight Zone? Some of y'all? Yeah, yeah, Twilight Zone. Um, I could not figure it out. So with the help of my cousin, I was able to turn it on. But the challenges did not end there. The screen had a little, had all these little, little things on it. Yeah, yeah, they had, uh, oh, what it's called is icons. They had icons, okay. Uh, there were so many that I had I didn't know what, which one to push, push first. I was quite over, overwhelmed. I remember, remember at the time that I had used this iPhone effortlessly. Mm -hmm. I used it, I used it, I knew how to use it. But after stroke, I became more and more apparent that my knowledge of the iPhone was gone. My cousin who came to visit me saw me in this agitated state. He suggested that I put my phone away and try again tomorrow when my mind would be clear. I took his advice. I said, okay, I'll, I'll take your advice. I'll go to sleep. Rosario came the next day and began the task of trying my cell again. I remember dialing a number and, and trying dialing it again, but it just didn't work. In my mind, I was dialing the right number, but then I soon realized that I was transposing the numbers and there seemed to be, I was dialing the wrong number. This happened and happened again. Every time I dialed the wrong number, it made me more and more determined to try, try, try again. <laughs> Well, this continued to happen even after I had gotten out of the hospital. Even things had started getting a little better. Then I began to dial the phone number correctly. Yeah, clap. Yeah. I felt like I had won a million dollars. I felt like it. I relearned how to use the iPhone. Yeah. I, I must attribute, attribute my success to having people around me that were very patient 
and who cared a lot about me. Mm -hmm. And for that, I owe them a world of credit. Mm -hmm. There, I would like to leave one point with you. We often don't appreciate the small things in life until they have faded away. Yeah.